Hello all and welcome to Resident Evil 2. So, this playthrough was, I, I saw Zappa doing uh, his own thing of a Mega Man X command mission. And I was like, hey, I should also do a thing. But like, I don't want to just do a normal thing like normal people. I don't want to just play games to have fun. I want to play games to make myself suffer and have pain. Oof. Now that's painful. Oh, come on. Just getting good. Aw, barely did hear it. But yeah, so I decided that, you know, I'm gonna run into the middle of no one. We're gonna run into the middle of a civilized establishment with guns and knives and just start, like, murdering people? That's terrible. So, why don't we just not? Wish gas was still 106, Jesus. Okay, luckily Leon's the inquisitive type. I probably would have run. You're it's a guy. Ready. Don't move. I'll be back for you. He never, he never came back. Alright, so, uh, wait, 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 go, 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 go! I just saw that opportunity, I'm like, shit! Can I drop my gun? Is this game kind enough to let me... Huh. Well, thank you, I guess. I didn't think the game would let me drop my gun! The game actually lets you just de-equip your weapon. Like, you see him, he's still like, he's got his hand, like... I've already failed the challenge. Fuck. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police. Honestly, at this point, I'd consider turning around. There's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. <laughs> Leon's being awfully optimistic about the situation. Fuck. This is out of control. And what? Oh, okay, though, that, that's on fire. I was actually kind of wondering if it was even possible to like go that way. But yeah, no, this. Uh, I I love Leon's gravity hand. Cause like the game just kind of expects that you'll have a gun in that hand. There it is, a station. Who turns a museum into a station, by the way? Like, that's such a weird, I, like, w was there no, I mean, I guess, I, like, it's explained in, uh, the original game a little bit more, but, like, it's such an awkward design choice for Chief Irons to put this in a police station, and for everyone to let him, for everyone to just let him convert this Arcusam into a police station. Hello? 
Is anybody here? I just wanted some atmosphere on that moment because that is such a good opening. Also, there was... I, I do not remember that safe key. If I did, I would probably just fucking do it, but... Uh... I might remember this. Lion... Plant... Phoenix? Hey! I'm not supposed to have that yet. I wonder what happens if you do that. Like the game is very clearly willing to let you do that. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought that the game would let, uh, I would not have thought that the game would let you do that. Like kind of sequence break it like that. Well, time to throw this time to throw this in the trash. What's in here? There has to be someone here. There's a guy. Not good. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. Send reinforcements. East hallway. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. Got it. Hmm. East hallway. Turn and burn. Let's go. I don't need this save anymore. I wonder if you got a knife, like, somehow super early, like, earlier than intended, just by kind of, like, knowing where to look. If the game would let you, uh, cut down that tape to, uh, like, just skip meeting Marvin. Or maybe there's a glitch that allows you to skip meeting Marvin. Yeah, that's gonna be bad soon. I'm gonna hold off on that room just because I, like, don't want to bother with it yet. I think there's zombies in that room, and I'd like to avoid it for as long as possible. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Hurry, Open hurry, 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 hurry. Gotta save him! Get you out. Please! Come here, help me! I got you. Give me your other hand. Pull! Pull! That doesn't look good. Look at his fucking guts. Like, the way this game does gore is just absolutely astounding to me. But yeah, that's the, uh... That's the notepad that tells you where you can find all of the stuff. Like, all of the little, uh... Key card. All of the little medallions. Shit! I'm actually gonna juke this chick come out here just because I feel like that's a safe option. Alright, oh, there's three of them. There's three of them. Okay. Four? Four! That's bad. That's bad. That's very bad. This room is getting very crowded. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Fuck! Watch out! 
God, I love Marvin in this scene. You're safe. For now. Thanks. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I couldn't... I couldn't... Here. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. But the intro, he's a state like he is literally holding his guts in. That is a strong I bastard. Know I started this. I wish I come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Oh, hey, the medallion's actually in the cutscene. I'm ready. Hopefully, you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. I love that exchange. The voice acting in this, like, there's no music for that scene either. It really just kind of, like, adds another atmosphere to the game, you know? Like, this is not how I imagined my first day. It makes the characters feel that a little bit more. It makes the whole situation. It feels, I guess, as real as it can get, I would say. It's like, obviously, it's not exactly real. It's, it's a game about zombies. It's not exactly hyper-realistic scenario. But for what it is, it makes it that just a little bit more... That little bit extra realistic, I guess, like you could say. I have no idea what I'm actually gonna fucking do here. Yeah, I am not doing that. Alright, where was, where was the thing? Fuck. Okay, got some bullets I'm never going to use. That's good, we're safe now. We're, oh, we're safe forever. We have a map. <laughs> ah! <coughs> Holy shit! Time to go. Oh, fuck. I have three green herbs. Holy shit. Yeah, fuck you. Get out get out of my fucking house. Alright, I think I'm gonna grab this red herb just cause like three green herbs. I think I think we can put a couple of these away. I just just the just the it's an inkling that I can put some of those away. And this is our first real save room. Which is super nice. We got some gunpowder and some bullets. The gunpowder can mostly be used to make bullets, so I don't really think I'm going to be dabbling much in that regard. But uh, that this is actually a good opportunity for me to talk a little bit more about um, the way bosses are going to be handled. That's a later puzzle. I should definitely remember that. But like this gives me a chance to actually talk a little bit about how uh, some of the bosses are going to be handled. Because... The goal of the entire game is to basically do this no shots. I can't shoot my gun, I can't use my knives, I can't use grenades. Can I use stun grenades? Like, that's a genuine question I feel like we should probably approach. Do stun grenades do damage? I don't know. 
Fuck, there's a Venom right there. Shit. I forgot about that. Nah, at least I know that's over there later. The portable safes. So, like, if you examine this thing, then you'll be able to find something inside of it. It's a little bit of a puzzle. So, six, eight, one, two. That was an accident. <laughs> that was just a happy little accident. I'm quite content about that. And we got a key. Oh, shit. That's fucking dope. We got a key. We got some shotgun shells. I don't foresee that being very useful. I feel like I can make that. Come on, Leon. Not up. So stealth is, so like a big part of this run, I could definitely feel it right now, is going to be knowing when to stealth and knowing when to run. Because knowing when to, because like running is obviously a good thing because like it gives you the ability to kind of like be in certain places at certain times. Like obviously that's useful. Uh, ooh, spade key. Uh, I think this is actually a good point to turn around. Because at this point we've gotten quite a little bit more shit than we had earlier. Um, moving slowly does have the advantage of, like, you're moving slowly. Zombies aren't going to see you nearly as much. But, um... That does come with the added downside of, uh... Fuck. Okay, that's good. But, um... Running makes you faster so you can get away from zombies. But it also makes you... It also makes you make noise. So, like, this zombie just saw me because I sprint around. So, I basically gotta reset him doing this. Unless he does that, in which case I can just kind of dot past him. Yeah, if zombies are looking away from you, you can definitely run past them, which is super good. Alright, so. 103 is gonna give me a knife. 102 looks like it gives me gunpowder. 203 gives me a, a pad. 208 gives me shotgun. And not much I can do about this right now. I'll do I'll do this one just because that gives me the most shit. Cause like then I can do 102. And also I can do 208, I believe it is. And now as long as we make a Pretty big run for it. Okay, you're coming down here, you're coming down here, you're coming. Okay, good. And we don't have the key card for that yet, so we can't even really get the shotgun. Not that it matters. I love this note. It appears the keypad is missing some keys. I suggest the person responsible for this find some spare keys and fix it right now. You know who you are, you bastard. Who else would fuck up this badly? Ah! That's a shit show. Shit. Combine. That just makes handgun ammo. I'll do that if I need to. That just teaches you how to use gunpowder. And I do not remember this for the life of me. Shit. Okay, so I'll. Minus spoilers. No, no, no spoilers. I don't have time for spoilers. Fuck. So I've got to find the... i got to name the people to open my desk. Fuck. But I need to actually look at the note first in order to do that. Okay, at this point I am going to uh, combine these two just because that's going to... Uh, that's going to free up my inventory space a lot. Fuck. Okay, I don't have time. Uh Okay, that's one of them, I guessed. 
I kind of got lucky. M... I think it's M-R-G. Okay. Luckily, I still remember what that is. It's a magnum. It's a gun upgrade. Absolutely useless. Run for your life, Leon Kennedy. Now, are there going to be zombies coming through that side? Because if there are, I don't really have a lot of time to dawdle. And we are now low. Which is a bit of a shit show. I mean, I guess we do have a few places we can go now that we got that spade key. And I guess we didn't take as much damage as we possibly could have. So, we're not doing too bad. But we did definitely take more damage than I personally would have liked. So, you know, there, there's that. Like, if I could have avoided taking that damage, I would have liked to. Awesome! Yeah, we, uh... I feel like we're not getting through that anytime soon. Green up! Fuck yeah! Leon? Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! Okay! Look at the smile on her face. She's so happy to see him. She's so happy to see, uh, Leon. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Incorrect, technically. You know, just surviving. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It's this small talking brother. over... Not yet. This. Don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. They're making small talk over the zombie apocalypse. You know what that means? Yeah. Like this kind of shit is why people ship Leon and Claire, because the they this game ships Leon and Claire. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. No, Claire, you need to go right now. You need to go now. Okay, let's get through this. Both of us. You want my gun? I'm literally not using it. Surrounded by zombies. Okay, I, it's a good thing I made room for that. Did you copy? Uh, we could go that way, but I feel like that's a bad play. Like I genuinely just feel like that would not be a wise move. Uh, I actually am going to take the long way. Oh, good. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Shit! Oh my god. I should be very dead. Oh, the game's not going to... Uh... Oh. Oh. Uh... Yeah, so we are in a bit of a problem. Uh, the correct thing to do is clearly to go that way. You know, into all of the zombies. And they kind of like loop around, grab a fuse, head back the other way. But we are flaming... Come on! <laughs> flaming zombies! Right out of the gates of hell! Uh, Marvin doesn't look too good. I'm gonna hold off on broaching that subject. Cause he looks quite dead. And that's not really something I want to really deal with right now. He's up. He's alive. I saw him moan. Still alive. He's not alive for long. Oh god! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 
Time for dodging. <coughs> Shit. That's a full heal I didn't want to use. Always use the spray. I'm, I'm I always use the sprays first. Just because, um... That way... Like, you can upgrade the, uh, the red and green of full heals to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can upgrade the red and green herbs to, um, a super full heal by using, uh, blue herbs. Shit! I just nearly died. But, uh, you can't upgrade the, um, you can't upgrade the basic sprays. So... Like, don't bother with them. <sighs> Yikes, that's that's why I'm gonna pause it for the night. We made a good amount of progress, but, like, this one really makes the game just feel that little bit more dangerous. They fucked up my favorite jacket. But yeah, th by make this game just becomes that little bit extra dangerous because of the fact that you really have nothing at your disposal. You are completely at the zombie's mercy, except for your ability to heal. And I'm really gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> also, if you, um, if anyone had the question, Robert, why aren't you playing on assisted mode? Well, the reason for that is because assisted mode is for suckers. <laughs>